Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Marcy and I am a wax enthusiast. I thought that it would be fun to uh, start a new series called Saturday Scents and I will be featuring whatever it is that I am warming in my home that day. So whatever home fragrance is going on in my house, I'm going to share that with you each and every Saturday. So um, let's get started. I picked up from my local Walmart the Sensationals Strawberry Crunch. The scent description for this is homemade creamy cheesecake infused with pure vanilla bean, covered with sugary strawberry glaze, and delicious sprinkles of buttery crunch topping. So the packaging doesn't quite line up with that sort of scent description. This almost looks to me more like a strawberry sorbet, and I thought that was a cinnamon stick. However, now um, I'm recognizing that it is perhaps biscotti. But anyways, um, the strawberry crunch is very similar to Sensational's strawberries and cream to me both on cold and on warm. Um, so if you like strawberries and cream, um, this this is right in the same sisterhood of that. Um, although strawberries and cream is definitely more a 50-50 blend of strawberries and cream. So that one is particularly more creamy, whereas this one is just a little, uh, hmm, what do I wanna say? So the scent description has cheesecake in it, and I could see that. I could see just a little bit of that uh, creaminess in the background, um, sort of a blended strawberry, if you will. Uh, this is a very artificial sweet strawberry, um, sort of like a Sunday topping or something to that effect, which I like very much. It is sweet, it is delicious, and um, the scent description of buttery crunch topping, I don't really get that. Um, however, in reading the description, it says sprinkles of buttery crunch topping. So perhaps there's that butteriness in there. I can't say that I pick it up um, particularly but it is a very nice artificial strawberry scent with a, a creaminess to it and perhaps a little buttery crunch. Um, we'll see. I've been warming an hour and a half in my open concept. Um, I don't really pick up on like a pretzel or anything like that particularly, uh, but it's a very nice scent and it's hanging out just fine in my open concept as a average medium performer. I am definitely smelling it and enjoying it. And it is a pretty medium colored wax. Okay, on to Silver Bells by Scentsy. Scent description is minty candy canes, dance over warm and welcoming pear, all enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. This is a very nice, creamy, minty, um, overall a vanilla mint sort of smell. However, it is amped up in sophistication with the pear and caramel. I can't say that I particularly smell pear or particularly smell caramel, but there is a sophisticated sweetness ribbon that does in fact um, envelope these minty candy canes, if you will. The mint in this is definitely not that astringent um, to your nose and eyes sort of mint. It is very soft. It is very um, calming. It's a really nice vanilla mint scent with just a little sweetness and sophistication. Um, it is empty for me now. Uh, it is a pretty gray, silver colored wax. And um, this is not in my club. 
I'm going to take a gamble and just hope that it comes back. And I would certainly purchase another bar of it. Um, performance for this is best reserved for like a small medium space, like a bedroom bathroom or um, ancillary spaces in your home. Um, today I am warming silver bells in my bedroom, in my master bathroom, and in my sunroom. And I'm quite enjoying all those spaces. It's very lovely. Actually, both of these together in alternating warmers. Um, beautiful home fragrance today. I'm fully enjoying the, the whole ambiance of my home. Uh, the warmer in the background there is by Scentsy. It is their pink Himalayan salt warmer. It is a real chunk of pink Himalayan salt and it's a nice performer. Um, it gives off a beautiful amber pink sort of glow and I can't recommend it enough. Um, it's not a power thrower. I'm not sure how it would do in an open concept. Um, but I have mine in my bedroom and it's absolutely perfect in here. Uh, gives a good medium throw, a good melt. And as I said, I just love the ambience and the um, supposed <laughs> health benefits of having pink Himalayan salt in your bedroom. It's supposed to sort of detoxify the air and um, make it a healthier environment. Um, now I have not noticed a, um, what do you say, a, these salt can drip water. Uh, I have not had that problem at all. And I live in Michigan and I have used this warmer in some different spaces, um, different times of years, just trying to figure out where I want to land it. It has never uh, sweated. There we go. It has never sweat at all. Um, however, I, I do understand some people have experienced that. I have not. I really enjoy my warmer. And I just, uh, I guess that's it. Thank you for tuning in today. And please come back each and every Saturday and check out what I'm warming, okay? Thanks and have a blessed day.